lining the side, lining the inner side with the stuff and I'm going to work my way up and then fill in the middle, fill in the middle with different stuff. Yep. If you are on the res if you're going to Jamaica and you're going on the resort, hey, this is not for you. This right here, what I'm doing, is not for you. In the supermarket to pick up, to, to get a box of cereals for my daughter and the price of it, I pay one dollar twenty-five cents for the for the cereal up here. And I went in the supermarket to pick up the same little cereal. It was like for two thousand dollars. I said, you got to be kidding me. Certain food right now in Jamaica, a regular guy that is working minimum wage can't even buy it. No joke about it. Give me the headache have to be seeing some of these ridiculous prices that they're selling for certain stuff. Price gouging, man. Crazy. And I don't know how the government allowed them to get away with it. wife is getting ready to go down to Jamaica to inspect our house, our Airbnb property, to see how the work is coming on and how the property. <clears throat> and she's going down with the kids. I'm not 100% certain yet if she's going to take the kids. We're still trying to work it out. But definitely, she's going down there to Jamaica to look at the to, to inspect the property and to see through her own eyes how the work is coming on and how everything is progressing. So, what she has asked me to do, normally, anytime any of us are going, going down to Jamaica to our property, sometimes we will spend a week at one of the resort or a couple of days and then we go to our to our vacation home down there in Jamaica and anytime we're doing that we normally send them stuff ahead of us when I say stuff I'm talking about household items to keep us to keep us during our stay at the, at the at the property so we normally like buy barrels I will show you what I'm talking about when I say barrels and We'll pack up everything we need, household items, food, you know, toiletries, condiments and all those stuff to keep us while we are there for the duration of time that we are there. And so <clears throat> my wife is going down and she had asked me to start putting preparation. She already gave me her list of stuff that she's going to need for her and the kids. It's not finalized yet if the kids gonna go but just in case she still say get things organized for me and the kids so she gave me her list of the stuff that she want to to send ahead before before her arrival at the house so i have already went ahead and pick up <coughs> excuse me pick up the stuff that she needed and i am getting ready at this present moment right now to start pack them in the barrel so that is what this video is about my lovely viewers packing a barrel sending it ahead before my wife reach so that she can have majority of majority of the stuff that she need so that she don't really have to be shopping around running up and down if the kids are going but just in case she say pack up stuff for me and the kids get them sent off beforehand get it picked up send by the house and 
make everything be ready when she goes down she say any other is liquid stuff that she need like meat stuff seasoning ground provision she she can get those taken care of that can get those stuff taken care of and any other is liquid stuff that she will need she can bring it in her or uh, in their suitcase when she's going down so that is where i am right now my epic pip so um before i start packing the barrel i'm just gonna take you through give you a walk through of the stuff that i'm planning to send down and yes if you are on the res if you're going to jamaica and you're going on the resort hey this is not for you this right here what i'm doing is not for you the hotel is a all inclusive place maybe you can bring your little bottle of wine or your little champagne in your in your check luggage or little stuff no little knickknacks you know while you're there but what i'm doing is not for you this is for who that have uh, that are that have homes that that have property that they are going home to are people that are sending stuff back home to their family are sending stuff ahead of their ahead of their arrival in jamaica not jamaica alone because you have a lot of a lot of countries in, in in the diaspora that do the same thing and also different places across the world so what i'm doing is nothing strange it's nothing foreign a lot of people do it across the world but today i'm doing this for my wife so i'm just going to take it i'm going to give you a quick walk through of the stuff that she had asked me to pick up for her and after that we're going to see how we get all of this to see if we can get all of this stuff in the barrel i don't want to pack two barrels it it's leaning towards two but i don't want to pack two i just want to pack one one i want to pack but but based on how i look it's going to go over the one barrel but hey let's not jump the gun let's see what's going on all right guys so see you in a few as i take you to take you through a walkthrough of the stuff that she asked me to pick up and that I'm gonna put in the barrel. All right. See you in a few. Don't touch that dial. All right. Love you guys. Epic viewers. So this is the barrel right here. This is my barrel. As you are seeing, where I went to Bongo and purchased it, and think what 50, 50 bucks for it. Yeah. These guys right here. multi-purpose I have like four of them right now up on the property that they use they use to hold water especially right now like it seems like every every second water gone in Jamaica so anytime I'm buying barrel this is the guy I'm investing. this guy right here major investment right now that guy right there oh it's a lifesaver so yes so this is where I am right now guys so these right here are the snacks for the kids. We got their liquor mix snacks right here. We got their liquor mix snacks right here. I got different types of cereals. I got cereals for my wife. My wife. My wife tends to love this guy right here. She loves. My wife loves the Cheerios and the frosted flakes my son love so this is this is our favorite stuff right here this guy this guy are some sometimes she will sample either the frosted or the honey nuts so you got your cereals right there you got your your little knacks for them you, you got your oatmeal they also love their oatmeal so i have a i have a a multi-pack so I have a multi-pack right here. It have peaches, strawberries, and blueberries. And then I have the plain banana. Yup. So cereal, oatmeal. I got some liquor. Muffins for them also. My wife, my wife, she loves Belvitas. You know, this is one of her. This is one of her favorite cookies, Belvitas. Then, chip chips, 
chip so hard for the kids. Granola. We use we use the granola. The kids love the granola with the whole with the whole meal. And have some popcorns for them. You have you know your peanut butter, your jam. What 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 mm. Mm. great jelly skippies and you have some jello to make jello for them also and dates my son love dates yeah what they call these module dates yep and a little apple sauce right there hey. you got your you got the chicken broth I got honey Max love his honey and Alex also ketchup you got your pasta sauce or tomato sauce or whatever you call it to go with your spaghetti mayonnaise you know mayonnaise you got your you got your what you call this now? Alfredo sauce. My kids love this type of milk. So I just pack it up for them. You know, so that is for the that those milk right there is for the cereals, cereals over there. And then these guys are for my wife. Her she love her Pepsi. She love her Swepsh ginger ale. And then she asked me to pick up to pick up some bottle. And these guys right here she love her shot her home moscato you have her you have the yellow tail wow i never tried that one before and then you have her you have the yellow tail pink moscato so she want that she asked me to pick up a also a case of corona it's in, still in the car when i don't i'm going to take it out yeah you have the tree in mixed coffee thing that she likes also. Eggnog over here. Eggnog. You got your mutts. Mutts. Apple juice. VH. 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 Splash. Langers. Cranberry. Pomegranate. cranberry grape strawberry peach so those are the stuff that she asked me to pick up so juice for the kids and for herself and those that those that those stuff are for her while she's there and then you got this thin thin stuff over here you have for the kids they love their chef boy D. you know they love their stuff so you said pick it up for them send it down you have sardine you got your sardine also and tobacco sauce that's what you call it yeah so we got those stuff there you got your bush baked beans and condensed milk and some other stuff over there you got your drinks mix also right there drinks mix and then over here you got the what you call these toiletries i hope i'm right you got the toiletries stuff for the kitchen also you got your scrubbing pad scotch scrubbing pad you got your comet for the pot or the pans or whatever you got your hands your hands killer yeah hands you got your trash bags trash bags trash bag more trash bags Toothpaste, you got your toothpaste, soap, air freshener, hand soap, body wash, body wash, hair freshener, mouthwash. This, I don't know what this is doing over here. This is supposed to go, this is dry goods. It's supposed to go over there. And then you got your hand paper, toilet paper, napkin, facial tissue. You got your laundry soap, dishwashing soap. <coughs> shampoo condition deodorant fabric softener and then you got your lotion hair wash deodorant drinks 
energy drinks, peas, beans, whatever, lighters, gloves, and, and this watermelon. Yeah. She said she want me to send down a watermelon for her heart, so, so I'm going to send it down. Yep. I'm kidding. And sending on a watermelon. So that's where we are, guys. So yes, epic viewers. So right now, I'm gonna prep, prep my stuff to put them in the barrel. So what I normally do first, I separate everything because you can't mix up everything. Soap and so forth. You know, stuff that has in perfume inside of it. You gotta, you gotta take them up put them in bags to to protect the dry goods like for example the flour and the cereal and the rice from absorbing the perfume from those products so normally you know you you would tape tape them up tape up tape up the lid and put them in a bag tie the bag and that will you know keep it from keeping keeping the dry products from absorbing the perfume for the, from those guys but normally any liquid stuff I normally just tape up tape up the lid which it's it's not a requirement depending on how far you put them down in the barrel but I would recommend you do tape them up yes my viewers so now I'm gonna tape down the lids of these guys right here yeah. I recommend that you tape all the, all your liquid if they if they got lids. I recommend you tape them. Thomas. And once that opening, I should like it open and quick. Yeah. That's it. Like these ones. I put them right here. See if it's open. Okay, you have to tape them. Which one is that? This one. Yeah, bring that come. Bring that for me too. Yeah, we're going to them, so. As I say guys, sometimes you ship your stuff and when it reaches final destination, when you open it, you smell and say, wow, you could tell by the moment, well, if you, if you ship your stuff by a cardboard box, you can immediately tell because it's going to, you're going to see the, see the, impression that something inside of the barrel is leaking because it's gonna leak and leave a, 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 a mark on the barrel but the plastic one nothing ain't gonna leak out so the moment you bust it and you smell that fragrance you can tell if something burst inside your barrel no we're not doing the deal there. so As I say, sometimes you're blaming yourself, say, oh, are your family members, if you don't go down to clear it, your family member will receive it. They curse and say, oh, you, oh, you didn't, you don't pack the stuff properly and, and you don't do, do this, you don't do that. And little they know what go through it, what happened in the logistics of getting, of picking up your barrel to get it to them, the final destination. The stuff that those poor little bars go through. Yep. So I'm just taping up the ones that their lids can easily pop open. Yep. Do you have any more, Alex? Um, hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Some people wrap all after taping these, like the liquids, the shampoo, conditional, condition, this detergent, and those stuff. Sometimes they will put, they will also put it in a in a in a in a plastic bag, you know, as a secondary precaution. I don't do it like that, cause the moment when you tape it like this, I think it's good. As I say. 
shipping company. And then the Alex Skills. Then the air freshener. No, that's good, man. You don't have to put no more on it. Okay. As you can see, guys, it's an empty barrel right here. And then, now, we're going to start to pack in our stuff. So, we're going to do, we're going to pack around the edge with the, with the juices and the, and the detergent. And then, we're going to put the cans in the middle. That's what we're going to do. So you see what it looks like guys? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right now. And you wanna see in there? Yeah. And Whoa, you're good at that. Now it's time to you see in the middle. That's where I'm gonna pop the cans in the middle. It's not a lot of them. And then I'm gonna work my way up. Yep. Let's give me all the cans. See what it looks like already guys? I'm working my way up. Yep. sides that mean all the end right there right there right there right there right there and right there so you see how it's how it's coming up guys yeah that's how you do it yeah that's how you do it same thing with the popcorn just fill up the little gaps that you have Waste space. 
Yep. I'm gonna start putting in the ketchups and these stuff right now. All right, Alice, give me the rest of the stuff. Huh? Give me those stuff. The one that was yeah. Take one. Give me the rest of the juice then. So guys, I'm utilizing every little space I can find in there. Every little space I can find, I'm utilizing. Start to line the side with the juice. The juice is again. No, no, milk, right? Yeah, it's called milk. And next comes the oats milk. Yep. 
see what I'm doing, my, <laughs> my epic viewers. Line in the side, line in the inner side with the stuff. And I'm gonna work my way up and then fill in the middle, fill in the middle with the different stuff. Yep. These guys can go in there. Yep. Put one right yes. there. You make sure guys don't I don't put them near beside each other because it's a possibility that they're gonna during shipping they're gonna shake and they may brush up against each other. So I make sure that I separate them. And then I'm gonna put in the two these guys they are not coming out. It's gonna do one like this. One like this. Then work my way around and start packing it up. Yep, there it is, guys. Rice. Sugar. So as you can see my viewers, working my way up. These guys, I'm breaking out these guys, taking out more by singles, put them with little, little crevices. As I say, my lovely thing, I don't want to pack two barrels. Matter of fact, I'm doing the same with the oatmeal also. You can find little spaces to put these guys right here. Yeah. Looking good already. You think he's gonna hold everything, guys? Still got more stuff remain, man. Wow, and this guy is heavy already. Heavy already. Yup.
Yep. And These little guys right here. I'm gonna fit them down in there like that. Okay, I'll put them on put them on the side. Any 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 way you choose to. Yep. Got my two little gloves right here. Dear guys, bar soap, ziplock bag, ziplock. Yep, they right there. Make sure you put it in a hair tight bag, guys. If you want to put it in bags, double it, tie it up. It's up to you. Me, choose to use ziplock bags. There ain't nothing coming out of that. This guy from here, this guy from here, this guy from here. Come on. Come on. Two more cereal. One more cereal there. Yeah. One right there. One right 
Nope. These guys, you don't even have to put them in bags. Yep, just like that. Yep. Yeah. You have your facial tissue. You can put them like that. Your napkin. Nothing like that. This guy, space over there for him. Some of these guys right here. A couple of the mutts, apple sauce in there. Yep. Nice. Here we go. Got some dryer sheets, some bounce dryer sheets. Um, I'm just gonna put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna crush it down, or you can crush it down. And squeeze out the hair out of it. Lock it like that, and then need nothing coming out of it. So <clears throat> that's it, my lovely peeps. Look at that. This guy is super heavy. So this is where I'm at, guys. So one thing is missing from this barrel right here. Take a guess and tell me what it is. Take a guess and tell me what it is, my lovely peeps. The most essential thing that you need when you picking up a barrel is bags. Bags, bags, bags. Because this is it. Those of you that have experienced what I'm talking about. When you like, when you like, Pack your barrel, for example, like how I pack the barrel like this. This barrel is packed to the last, the last square inch of it. 
when this barrel go down to Montego Bay or Kingston or wherever so, where it is going to be um, at the port of entry or the shipping port, the customer officer, depending on who the person is, they're going to ask you to empty out the barrel. Or some of them will be leaning to you and say that you need to empty out the center so that they can see the bottom of the barrel. I don't know why they do that because they extray the barrel already and still you got to go inside of it. I don't know why. Hey, maybe they know the reason why they do it, whatever. So, based on how I pack this barrel, whenever you... When you're gonna empty this barrel for the customer officer to see what is inside of it, you ain't go you ain't gonna have time to fit back everything inside of it as it was before because you're gonna be at war for a while and you're gonna be so you're gonna be so infuriated with ever all the nonsense and all everything that is going on down there. You just you you just wanna go get your stuff and go. Enough of you know what I'm talking about. If you've been in this situation, leave a comment. When you're going to be down there, you're going to get so frustrated. All the nonsense that is going on, you just want to just grab it. These guys right here, make sure whenever you pack in a barrel, send bags with the barrel. Or if you can, whosoever is going to pick it up for you, notify them that when they're going they should bring bags with them i don't know if they're going to allow them to go inside with the bags i don't know what their policy is but anytime i'm sending down barrels i always send bags because these guys very much important because this barrel when you empty it you you're not going to have the energy after being at the wharf after being at the wharf all day you ain't gonna have the energy to pack by the barrel how it was packed by, especially like the way how I pack it. A lot of people don't pack it the way how I pack it. Some people just throw, just throw stuff in barrel and whatever, whatever. I don't do it like that. I pack my stuff professionally. That's how I do my stuff. So, when I pack my barrels, I also pack carrying bags to make it easier for me or whosoever is gonna pick up the barrel because 99% out of 100, you're going to have to open that barrel for the customer officer to see what's in there. So, send your bag, guys. So, this is it right here. You see how this guy is still? This guy is filled to the till. Look at this. Hell. So, my bag's right here. This guy right here. It's a little tricky guy. He's facing you. All right. And be careful because it will pinch you guys. That's it. That's it, my lovely peeps. That's it is right there. This guy is great. Ah. Oh, yeah. That guy is about 600 pounds. He's packed. Look at that. This guy is packed. Yep. So this is done. I'm gonna call the shipping company, let them come pick it up. So, my epic viewers, if this has been an educational video to you, just leave a comment. Really appreciate it. You know, this video is in no way intended to teach anybody how to pack a barrel. Everybody pack their barrel differently. This is how I pack a barrel and I choose to do a video of it. Okay? So my lovely pips. So yeah, I say I was gonna show you like what I have remained. So this is what I have remained. So I have a, a 12 pack Shreps, ginger ale, Pepsi, 
one toilet paper, three paper towel. I got a box of cereal right there. I got some little vegetable sticks right there. Um, this I'm not sending. Uh, I didn't put it in it because. I don't know why I pick it up. I just saw it in the garage and I said I would put it in the barrel. And then this guy right here, I put like three quarter of it. It's like coffee mix three in one. And these stuff, I took them out and put them in the barrel. So yeah, that is it. So my epic viewers, I'm out. You have yourself a blessed day blessed morning blessed afternoon blessed night uh what this whatsoever time zone you may live in you have a blessed one peace and love every time manix robinson how be safe